Bang! Knives Knives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara's at work, and today we are going over 10 knives and what makes them great. So first up, we have the Protec Newport. This knife is a USA made knife with aluminum handles and S35VN blade steel. What makes it great is a few different things. One, it's very lightweight. It's uh, compact. The clip is, Protec has some of the best clips around. They just work so good. They're inset into the frame and usually have flat screws. So they go in and out of the pocket great. The sleek design just works really good for EDC. And it has, the Newport has a very useful blade shape with an acute tip for precision cutting. And, but it's still good enough for, for regular duty slicing. This isn't going to be a hard juice knife, but it is definitely a great EDC. The next thing that makes it great is that thwack. Protect just has a heavy hitting, um, a heavy hitting action that just smacks out when you push the button. This isn't automatic, so it's not going to be legal in all the states or all the counties or wherever you live. So you want to check, you know, your your local life, knife laws. But man, does it smack when you uh, when you hit that button? And then closing it is still easy, one handed. Once you get used to it. But yeah, great knife. It goes for about $160, right around $160, $169, depending on where you buy it from. Next up, the Civivi Exarc. This is a front flipping knife, or top flipping knife, however you want to do it, that is also very sleek, compact, but yet long enough to get just about any job done. Civivi does excellent grinds on their knives. Very thin behind the edge, yet this one has still a very strong spine. It has G10 handles with steel liners and a deep carry clip. The clip works great. The action works great. The detent is really nice. And what makes this thing great is, one, the front flipping action is very easy to do. But not only that, it's very compact and you know, you can put it in your pocket and just basically forget about it. But when you open it up, it's still a full size knife. So I think having a knife that in this compact of a package that, you know, brings out, you know, over a three inch blade is great. And they also make, if you're not used to front flippers, they also make the CD Chronic. The same knife, except for you just have a regular flipper on it. So you don't have to have this knife in a front flipper if you prefer a regular flipper. These things are very cheap in price, or should I say they bring you a good value. You can get them for around uh, $50 from Civivi Knives. The Kaiser Sheepdog. So the Kaiser Sheepdog comes in a few different packages. This one right here is in BD1N with micarta handles. This is the full size version, but they also have the mini Sheepdog if that one's not, if this one's just a little too big for you. Very slicey blade. What makes this thing awesome is that it has kind of a a cleaver blade shape that just works great for EDC. It slices like a champ. You can cut up your cardboard and recycling so easy with this. And the tip, even though it does have the cleaver blade shape, works great for utility cuts. Kind of like a razor blade. It's kind of like an oversized razor. The handle is, is really comfortable in the hand, especially in this micarta. Now there's many different versions of this. You can get this in titanium. You can get it in G10. There's a lot of different versions of this knife. The micarta though that is on this one is gr really good quality micarta. 
you can get it in a few different colors with a coated or non-coated blade. The action on this thing is really powerful. The detent is great. The flipper tab is easy to, act, easy to access and easy to flip. The liner is very easy to get to. It is very lightweight and the clip works great. And for such a big package, it's not too hard to carry since it's so thin. So great, great knife, especially for heavy duty cutting. Next up, the Ferrum Forge Prowlick. So this knife is a Ferrum Forge design made by Wii. Now what makes this knife great is its blade shape and compact design. You can get a lot of power into that tip of that blade for utility cuts. And it also still can slice very, very well too. But the the tip with its ergos just allows you to get a lot of power behind that tip. And even if you're just doing light duty utility cuts, it still works great. The jimping is, fan is well placed and very sharp. It works very well. The action on it and the detent is very nice. The sound it makes is just great. I love the sound this knife makes has a really mechanical sound to it. The clip works also really good. Kind of like the Protec, the clip is inset in the G10 with flat screws, so the clip works so good in and out of the pocket. G10 scales and the blade steel is Nitro V. Great blade steel for the price. The price on this is a you know around ninety bucks, so it's not going to be your most budget friendly knife, but you get a great package and it works. The fit, the finish, and it's just it's a very solid little knife for the price. I do really like the designs that come from Ferrum Forge that we makes. We Knife Company makes incredible knives and is really good at what they do. Next up, the QSP Penguin. The QSP Penguin, now this is a very, very budget-friendly knife, and what makes this knife so great is its price tag. For under $30, between $25 and like $29, you can get the, well, also they have a S35VN version for in the 50s, but for this D2 version, you're talking about a blade steel D2 with denim micarta handles that are just done so well. There's mo way more expensive knives that do not come with this quality of micarta. Very, very smooth running on phosphor bronze washers. The action and detent is great. It just flies out. The liner is very easy to access. Such a smooth drop. And the blade shape it has, the sheep's foot, one foot blade shape, whatever you want to call it, is great for your utility cuts. It's also still pretty slicey. You can get all your EDC tasks done with this blade shape. And it's great in and out of the pocket. The, the clip actually insets behind the, the denim micarta scales. But the screws are actually in the front. But the screws never get in the way. They're nice and rounded. The clip works very, very well. It's very lightweight. And if D2 is not something that will work great, since it's not a complete stainless steel, it's almost a full stainless, but since it's not a full stainless, you can get this in S35VN for just a few dollars more, for around $50, $55. So great, great package for the money. Uh, QSP did a great job with that. Next up. The Monterey Bay Knives ECZ 2.0. The 2.0 is a is an integral knife, which 
is one thing that makes this great. It is an integral. Integral means the handle was made out of one solid piece of titanium, which is great for the build. I mean, it just adds to the build strength and build quality. And it's also a lot more difficult for companies to make. Brady Laconico designs are very similar to each other. He does a lot of similar designs. Even in this knife, he has a bigger version or the smaller version. Titanium clip with 20 CV blade steel. It is a, I would almost call it not just an EDC knife, but kind of a gentleman's knife. But it is still a very capable EDC knife. The action and detent on this thing is very, very crisp. Just a sleek design. It looks really good with your EDC and to pull out of your pocket. It's not threatening or frightening to anybody. Nice compact package and it's easy to carry, easy to put in your pocket, and easy to put with your EDC. But yet you still have a very capable knife when you bust it when it you know when you open it up relatively thin behind the edge it slices very well and it just looks good it, you know it looks like a knife and i think that's something that's great about it the fit the finish is done very well ray laconico's designs are very iconic and a lot of people seem to like them next up Tucson TS-264. What makes Tucson's great is, what makes almost all Tucson's great is they are basically about the best bang for your buck. Between the materials, the quality, the fit, the finish, you're getting about the best quality and materials for the money. Especially if you bid on them from eBay, because in that case you're making the price the way you want it and when they first come out they're usually a little bit more money than they will be after a month or so but the price that you can get a Tucson in M390 or S90V is far far less than you can get for other knives and that with the same steel Especially in titanium and beautiful micarta, the fit, the finish. You definitely can't get other knives for that for the price range. You can basically get a good Tucson with good materials and good blade steel for under $150. And in a lot of cases, under $100. On this specific model, the action is amazing the thumb studs are the stop pin so you can see the thumb studs spin around and become the stop pin the action and detent on this knife is absolutely amazing the centering's perfect it's not an integral it is a two-piece construction but this two-piece construction is built very solid, even though it only has two screws. If you take out this screw, it still stays perfectly centered, perfectly still um, the construction all together, and the action is still amazing. Most knives, if you take out that screw, they'll just basically fall apart. The ergos are so nice on this because it's beautifully contoured super thin behind the edge like a lot of two suns and another amazing thing is that they have a lot of features that only really expensive knives have like reverse detent ramps for when you unlock it and you hit the detent they give you a ramp so it doesn't hang up right there they give you ceramic bearings that are on a washer that has a track built into it to make incredible, incredible action. Ceramic detent ball. And, and a lot of times they have internal stop pins. In this case, it's an external stop pin. That is the thumb stud. Fantastic knife, just like a lot of Tucson models. 
they make a lot of different designs they might not all be your style but usually those there's at least one that is your style because they make so many different styles and so many different knives and in so many different blade steels this knife cuts extremely well super super slicey since it's so thin behind the edge the clip is the biggest problem with this knife it doesn't go in and out of the pocket perfectly it still works but it tends to hang up coming out of the pocket just a little bit two sons do have a lot of knives with great clips this just is not one of them but they're, they also have a lot of knives that don't have the best clips, but then they also have a lot of knives that do have great clips. It just depends on which model you get. This specific one happens to be an M390 titanium and beautiful carbon fiber. And you can get this one for right around $120, give or take. It depends on where you get it from because if you buy it from a knife store or knife shop, you will pay more. If you get it through eBay, you possibly get it for less than 100 for 120 dollars or less. But you could pay upwards into 160, 190, depending on where you get it from. And sometimes even when you bid on it, you pay that much. It just depends on how the bids are going. Next up, the Quiet Carry Waypoint. This knife comes in Vanax steel, titanium, and LC200 and liners, which makes this knife completely rust proof. So, this is very corrosive resistant. That is what makes this knife so great. You can have this in basically all conditions by salt water. Wherever you live, this knife should not rust at all. I'm still testing out the steel to see how it's going to work for edge retention, but you're definitely going to have a rust proof knife. It has phosphor bronze washers. The action in detent is very crisp with its thumb stud deployment. The liner is very easy to get to, to unlock and close back up. And the clip is a inset wire clip with nothing in the way, so it works great in the pocket. It is very compact, so it works great in and out of the pocket and for carry. And for such a, um, a, a nice package, it has a full size blade with a hollow ground, very thin behind the edge, very thin blade stock and slices so good. It cuts very, very well. I love the blade shape on it. It allows you to get utility cuts and regular slicing. And the fit and the finish is just done very well on this thing. This is not a cheap knife though, running around $280. It is, it is, it can be quite expensive for some people, but you are getting a great knife for that price. Next up, the Asher Spyro. This knife is pretty new to me, but I, I, I'm enjoying it very much. What I think is great about this is for $75, you're getting S35VN. It is a drop point blade, so great price for the package. Beautifully done G10 handles. These are, this is great G10. Very comfortable in the hand. Deep carry clip that is inset, so another great clip that works in and out of the pocket very well. Steel liners, the liner lock is very easy to get to, and since it has ceramic ball bearings, the action is very nice on this. It's easy to reverse flick, easy to thumb flick. My version has the big thumb studs, which just work great. Even for the slow roll, it's, it's very easy to do. The detent is well tuned on this. 
It has a JG10 back spacer that if you wanted to, you could take off and color yourself. Add a little pop if you want. This knife for the price is done very well and I, I am very impressed with this package. Asher Knives Spyro. Last knife on the list, I want to thank our Patreons for making this channel possible and helping us make content by donating money every month through Patreon. We thank them very much. And to give back to our Patreons, we do a giveaway every month to them. So basically, they're always entered into a monthly raffle, and this month's knife is our last knife on the list. The Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. This happens to be the Burgundy Ace Biblio with Burgundy Micarta. Now, one thing that's great about this knife, or something that's great about this knife, is they have great micarta, beautiful micarta, and three-way deployment. You have the flipper tab, the thumb stud, or thumb flip and then the reverse flick it has a great wire clip that's also inset nothing's in the way the clip works great and the ergos are just really good in the hand it is a great a great comfortable knife in the hand now these knives when they first came out did have some qc issues some quality control issues i know because i had one that had some issues um even though it was it has beautiful micarta and is now pretty decent it still had some some pretty significant issues they supposedly worked all those all those issues out now i believe react is making their knives now um i know they're making most of their other knives but i'm pretty sure they're either making the ace biblio detent is nice and crisp and this is a great example of the ace biblio i can't wait to give this away this month to one of the patron members this knife comes in m390 steel liners and the fit and the finish on these things are done very well. It's just a great knife. Good quality all-around knife. They run for about, about $165, right around there, give or take. Um, but uh, depending, because they have different versions. They have the G10, Titanium, Micarta. So depending on which one you get, they can go up upwards into the 200s. But it's a great knife for the price and... Yeah, great knife. Slicey blade. The blade shape is very, very useful. I love this sheep's foot, you know, drop foot blade shape, whatever you want to call it. Super, super useful. You can get great utility cuts. It's very slicey. Gives you a finger choil. And so the finger choil adds also to a great sharpening choil. You get a lot of life out of the sharpening on this knife. And great, great knife. This knife is a Vox design, and Vox likes to add the, the jibbing up in the middle of the blade so it actually lands where your finger lands when using jimping. It's a great knife, and I'm happy to give it away to the page members. All right, you guys, there's 10 great knives, and I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.